Hi everyone, so today I'm sharing a different kind of video with you and I know that it's that time of year for a lot of you where the exams are looming. So in this video I'm going to share with you 10 ways that you can prepare for a biology exam. Okay, so job number one is to find out exactly what units are going to be covered in your exam. So go and ask your teacher. If it's your final IB Biology exam, then you know that it could include anything from the entire of the IB Biology syllabus. But if it's not, if it's a midterm or another exam, then go and ask your teacher so that you know exactly what units to study in preparation. Once you know what's going to be in the exam, then organise your notes and make sure that all the notes for the unit that you need to study are in the same place. Now if it's an IB Biology exam of any kind, it's absolutely essential that you check the IB Biology syllabus for all of the understanding, skills and applications that you're required to know. If you don't know how to access the IB Biology syllabus, I've provided a link to it on the IB website within my iTunes U course that you can see here. So as you're studying, utilise a wide range of resources to support developing your understanding. If you're seeing this video, you're obviously aware of my YouTube channel, but also you have a textbook to support you in this course that I'm sure your teacher has issued you with. I've also tried to support students by building an IB Biology iTunes U course that you can find by downloading the iTunes U app on your iPad or your iPhone. In this course, I've provided exercises and activities for you to assess your own understanding. Now let's use some of those activities to begin your study. Now you may already be familiar with Quizlets and Kahoot, but did you know that instead of making your own, there are a bunch already pre-made available to support biology? When you download my iTunes U course, you'll see that there's a post sharing all of my own Quizlets and Kahoots that I've built to support IB Biology. You're free to use them. Instead of spending your time just rewriting your notes, which is a very passive exercise, use the already made flashcards on Quizlet to review basic concepts and facts. Then you can move on to playing Scatter, which is a game that really puts you under pressure when you have to mix and match. Kahoot is a really fun game that you can play in class with friends or on your own to review different topics. In my iTunes U course, I've provided a link to several different Kahoots that I've created for IB Biology topics. You really want to make sure that your review is active and not just copying out your notes. So practice answering questions. You can find some in your textbook, there are some on my iTunes U course, and you might also find that your teacher has given you practice IB Biology papers. In this case, definitely answer the questions and check your answers against the mark scheme. There are always diagrams and structures that you need to be able to draw in biology. And the only way to learn this is to practice, practice and practice. Draw them out, add all of the labels and keep repeating this exercise until you can get a correct diagram with correct labels first time. Okay, so this is the enzyme and this is the substrate. Teaching someone else is one of the best ways to see if you've understood a concept or a process. This is because the other person is going to ask questions to clarify their own understanding. And then the substrate, this, can no longer fit into the active site of the So it can enzyme. no longer be together? No. If you can teach someone else, chances are you have a strong understanding and are able to explain a concept or process. You can teach a friend, a family member, or if you prefer working alone, why not create a monologue using your iPhone, iPad, or camera on your computer? Hello, I'm going to be talking about surface area to volume ratio and why it limits the size of a cell. By creating a monologue, you're able to look back at your explanation and cross-reference it with your notes to see if there are any parts of your explanation that you'd like to improve. Complex 3D processes that take place over time are difficult to explain, so don't hesitate to model or create a stop motion like my students did here. This can help you become clear on the way in which the 3D objects interact in the process.
Finally, check the common mistakes that students tend to make on biology exams. I've put together several videos showing these under my playlist, Exams, Graphs and Data Processing. You should totally check these out to make sure you don't make the same mistakes. So finally, I'd like to say good luck in your exams and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also download the iTunes U app to subscribe to my IB Biology course just by searching my name. You'll also find in there all of the Quizlets and Cahoots that I've shared in this video and stay in touch with at miss underscore s castle. Comment underneath this video too and tell me what units you're studying for your exams and that way if I have anything else that I can share with you to support you in your study, I will do. I love hearing all of your comments and feedback. It's what motivates me to keep this channel going. So good luck in those exams. Here are all of those details once again. I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank all of my students who have helped me put together this and several other videos. A special shout goes out to Anura Kay who also has her own most incredible YouTube channel that I'm going to link down below. So go and pay her a visit, comment on her latest video and say Miss Castle sent you.